hello there my name is Kayla and welcome to my channel thank you so much for being here with me today I really appreciate it in today's video we are reviewing a palette that has been available for quite a while I just never purchased it until now I felt like this was the right time to just go ahead and get it in today's video we are reviewing the melt cosmetics Gemini palette I believe this palette came out about like a year or maybe even two years ago I'm not quite sure I've always really liked this palette I've always had a crush on it and I just went ahead and decided to go ahead and pick it up when I first saw this palette I definitely got fall grungy sort of vibes <laughs> from it and I figured now would be the best time to purchase it. Since we're in summer right now headed to fall, I thought I would pick this up and create some beautiful looks with it. I have heard a lot of different opinions on this palette. Some people say it's absolutely amazing, it's beautiful. Some people say this palette is crap. Some people said that there's a lot of fallout with this and the eyeshadows don't blend out well. So in today's video, we're going to see how these eyeshadows perform, if they're good, if they're bad. What's the tea on the Gemini palette? I absolutely adore the packaging on this palette. It's definitely giving me like grungy fall vibes and it's just so beautiful. The palette does come in one of these sleeves that matches the actual palette itself. It has these beautiful roses on it and it's just so pretty. I love it. The palette does come with a mirror and it has eight matte shades and two shimmer shades. This palette also retails for $58. I know that is a lot for an eyeshadow palette, but this is absolutely beautiful and it's heavy. I feel like they put like a weight in this or something because this is a pretty heavy palette. So if you'd like to see how I got this look and my thoughts and opinions on the Melt Cosmetics Gemini palette, then keep on watching. All right, so before we get into the palette, I'll go ahead and do some swatches of it on my arm here for you. Here are all 10 of the eyeshadow swatched. I had very little trouble swatching these eyeshadows. The only trouble I had were these two green shades down here. But besides that, all the rest of them swatched beautifully. Alright, with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into this look. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to prime our eyes. I'm going to be priming my eyes with my P. Louise Eyeshadow Primer Base. This is in the shade Rumor 01. And I'm going to apply this to my eyelids with my Laura Lee Los Angeles L17 brush. And today I am doing my foundation last because I have heard a ton of mixed reviews on this. I don't know if there's going to be a ton of fallout with it. I've never tried it before. So that's just why I'm doing my foundation last. Just in case there's a ton of fallout, I don't want green and yellow all over my face. The first shade I'm going to go in with is the shade Mochi on my Morphe M535 brush. Oh, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I just lightly tapped my brush into this and there was some fallout. So yeah, I just want to let you know I already have a little bit of fallout in the pan with just one tap. So be careful. I'm going to go ahead and put this as my transition shade. I'm going to take the shade Laurel actually and put this as my transition shade. I think that shade is just a little bit too green for what I want on the upper part of my eye. So I'm going to take the shade Laurel and put that up here. And I am using a very light hand with this. I'm taking my time just because of previous reviews and videos that I saw with this. I don't want this ending up looking like crap. But I did purchase this palette because I don't really have a whole lot of other palettes in my collection that look like this. I actually don't have any other palettes in my collection that look like this. Except for maybe the Juvia's Place Nomad palette. I didn't really have much luck with that one though. So I wanted to get this because I absolutely love the colors in it. I think it's so pretty. And I think this is just going to be a really good palette to have for like fall. Can you guys believe that fall is like right around the corner? It is just insane to me. Like where does where does time go? Especially when you're in quarantine, I feel like everything's just kind of 
flown by. I feel like it should still be May. Now I'm gonna take my Laura Lee Los Angeles L18 brush and go into the shade Mochi and put this right below where I put this shade Laurel. Laurel? I don't, I don't know. Okay, so far, so good. So good. So good. I'm not having any fallout on my face and the shadows are blending nicely. Now I'm taking the really pretty, like, dirty green shade Fire Og on my Laura Lee Los Angeles L19 brush and putting this in my outer corner and taking it a little bit to the center of my eye, just in the crease. I'm taking a little bit of the shade Leo, this really pretty like forest green color on the same L18 brush and placing this on my very outer corner. And I'm taking my Morphe M506 brush to just lightly blend it out. So far, it's so good. everything is blending out nicely, layering on top of each other very well. Now I'm taking just a wee bit of the shade Polka Dot on my MAC 213 brush and putting this on my very outer corner as well. I'm taking a little bit of the shade Bonnie on the same MAC 213 brush and just lightly, lightly placing it on the outer corner. Now I'm going back in with my little Morphe M506 brush and just blending this out a little bit. Okay, so far, so good. Now I'm taking this really pretty green sparkly shade, the shade Goals, on a little wet black concealer brush. I'm placing this on the center of my eyelid. So I'm not having the best luck with this glitter shade. I'm gonna try putting it on my eyelid with my finger. Okay, yep. All right, that worked a lot better with my finger. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face off of camera, come back, and we'll do the lower lash line. All right, so I did go ahead and finish the rest of my face off of the camera. For foundation today, I did use my Too Faced Born This Way foundation and my Kimchi Chic Concealer. For the lower lash line, the first color I'm gonna take is the shade Mochi on my Luxie 243 brush and take this all the way to my inner corner. Now I'm taking a hint of the shade Polka Dot on the same Luxie 243 brush and putting this from the center of my eye to my outer corner. Now I'm taking a bit of the shade Fire Og on my Morphe M506 brush and putting this on my very outer corner. Now I'm taking a little teeny tiny hint of the shade Bonnie on my Morphe M508 brush and just lightly placing this on the outer corner right below my waterline. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my eyes off camera, come back and show you the completed look. All right, you guys, so this is it. This is the final look. I absolutely love the way everything came together. I don't typically do eyeshadows this dark or this, dare I say, grungy. I don't know, but this looks so pretty. This is totally giving me fall grungy vibes. I love the way this look turned out. So as far as the Melt Cosmetics Gemini palette goes, I really liked it. I just worked very slow and steady with it. The colors blended out nicely. They worked very well together. They built on each other very well, and I had no issues with it. The only slight issue I have with this is this green color in here, the sparkly green color goals. This color I couldn't really get to apply on my eyelid with a wet brush, but it applied on my eyelid well with just my finger. 
So if you're considering purchasing this palette, just be aware of that. There was also some fallout in the pans, but I didn't really have any fallout on my face with it. So I really enjoyed this palette and I can't wait to use it again. All right, so that is it for today's video. If you liked this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. Everything that I have on my face will be linked in the description box down below along with all of my social medias. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it.